So I'm here to tell you that Poshmark promoted closet or promoted listings or whatever you're calling it, I don't think it's for everyone. I'm using it, I've been using it for over a year now, but I really don't think everyone should use it. But I do think that there are some people that could really benefit from it. So I'm actually gonna go through today sharing with you my actual stats, like we're gonna screen share with the what I have to show you. Then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it and experience. And then I'm gonna say who I think it's really good for and then who I think it's not so good for. Let's dive in. Download your free reseller resource guide today. I constantly update and share with you discounts, favorites, tools, and resources to help you with your reselling business. After the video, click the link in the description and get your totally free guide today. Okay, so first I'm just gonna go through my experience, then I'll share with you who it's not for, who it's for, and then I'll screen share with you like some of my exact information so that you can kind of get a feel if you're not doing it or if you haven't done it in a while or you only did your free trial, you can kind of get a feel for how it goes based on my stats. So here's what I think. I've been on it for over a year. I think it started August or before of 2023. I don't exactly remember when, but my stats go back to that point. So it's either before then or August, 2023. Right now it's August, 2024. I have started it. I have stopped it. I have started it again, and then I've been on it for a good period of time, and I'll show that to you in the stats. Overall, I like it, and I think it's for me, but I definitely see how it's not for everyone, and I'm always kind of watching it to see if I should take a break and come back, or if I should stop it, or if I just keep going with it. So I'm constantly reevaluating it because there is money being spent, and so I do think it's important to constantly be evaluating should you be spending this money because it's not pennies, it's kind of significant. I can afford to spend this money. You should not be losing money to spend this money on ads and if you're spending too much of your profits, that's also, so you need to really be mindful of, of the costs and when we do the screen share, you'll see that. But I can afford to spend the money that I'm spending to get the sales that I'm getting Sometimes it does better than others, but I, I can afford it. So that's why I'm continuing to do with it. If I didn't, if I couldn't afford it, I wouldn't be doing it. So just keep that in mind also. I am gonna keep doing it, but I do think that it's good to take breaks from time to time as you're evaluating it. So that's kind of like my experience. I do think that it is better for some people and not for others. So I'll tell you my experience as I tell you who it's good for and who it's not good for. And then we'll dive in to the screen share. So who it's not for. I think if you're a hobby seller, you should not worry about this. If you're not really trying to make money doing this reliable money where you're treating this as a teeny tiny small part-time business or a full-time business, if you're just a hobby seller like selling stuff out of your own closet or just I'm gonna pick up a few items here and there, but I'm not really trying to make a ton of money and I just wanna like use the credits I get to go shopping in Poshmark. I would not do promoted listings if you're a hobby seller. So I think that's out right away. If you pay up and price low and don't have wiggle room, I don't think you should be using promoted listings because, because it's coming out separate money being charged to your credit card, I have a feeling that a lot of sellers that are doing it are not paying attention. <laughs> and so you're like, oh, I bought this for five and I could take the offer and sell it for 10, but you have no idea that at the end of the month you paid $150 in you know, these ads. And so that's really taking away from your bottom line. And so then you're not actually making as much money as you think you are. So I also think that if you are using it, you really need to be tracking your spending, your profit, your sales, and then how much you're spending on these ads so that you know, are you making enough money at the end of the month? Because you could come out where you spent everything you made and that would not be helpful. So I think that's important. So if you're paying up for items, you may not have the wiggle room. If you're pricing low for items, you may not have the wiggle room and you're not seeing it come out like a shipping discount out of your sales. You're seeing it in a separate bill later. So in the moment when you're making the sale, you think you have, you know, you're only making $3 profit, but then you spent $3 on those ads. That's not good. 
if you're selling your own stuff, which I kind of said with your, you know, hobby selling, if you're just selling your own stuff, you should not be paying for ads. That's silly. If you list a lot of items per day and you're very consistent, like if you're a full-time seller and you're listing a ton and you're very consistent and you're treating this like a real business and you're really doing the work, you may not need ads. You may not like it could help you perhaps, but because you have so much activity going, you might be getting the sales that you need without having to pay for these ads. So I think that there is a really interesting place where the ads kind of come into play, which I'll get to in a minute when I show you my stats, because if you're listing all the time, you may not need this extra attention because you're constantly putting new listings up, you're constantly sharing, you're constantly sending offers, you're treating it like a real business. You may not need to do this. So I think that might be an area where you don't need ads. Also, if you're making a decent amount of sales and profit and you're happy, why spend more money on ads if you're happy with your sales and you're happy with your profit? So, so I say all the time, like I'm happy with my sales and profit but I'm also going many periods of time, many months in a row, like the entire summer, the entire holidays, where I'm not listing new items. I purposely take a break. I put the pause on my reselling business in terms of listing new things so that I can spend time with family. And I'm still making you know, decent sales. I'm making the same, pretty much the same amount of money every month. Like it might fluctuate a little bit here and there, but every month I'm making the money I need to make from reselling. It's what I consider to be a full-time living, you know, and then I do other things as well, like YouTube and whatever. So for me, I like having the ads because I feel like it gives my listings an extra boost because I'm not giving the extra boost by doing a lot of listings. So right now I'm coming off the summer. I didn't list anything new over the summer. I had relists going up every day. My offers, like my whole system is going. I'm making several thousand dollars a month, no problem. But I had ads running to give items boosts so that because I'm not generating that new listing activity, I'm able to sell a lot of what I have. And over the summer, I sold down so much of my stuff. So now I'm getting ready to start listing again. And I may take a break from ads to see how that plays out. And so I may bring the ads down when the listings go up. And when the listings go down, bring the ads up. So, so far I've let, the, I'll show you my stats, but so far I've let the listings go down, keep the Poshmark ads up for a long time. But now I'm getting ready to flip it and I may switch it. So I think that if you're a person that lists consistently, you may not need the ads as much as someone who lists less, or if you're ready to take a break from listing. Now, who it is for. If you're a part-time seller, this could be great for you. If you're a full-time seller, I think it could be great for you because you're taking it seriously, you're treating it like a business, and you need to sell this stuff. And so you need to rely on a certain amount of money every month to pay your bills or whatever, pay your debt down or whatever you're doing. And so taking a small amount of your profit to pay for ads to help your listings go up and your sales go up, I think could be a good thing. You have to decide for yourself, but I think it's for part-time and full-time sellers, not hobby sellers. If you sell boutique or multiple quantity listings, I think this is for you. This is probably the single most impactful part of ads that I have seen with Promoted Closet on Poshmark. There will be a couple of days where I will sell the same swimsuit cover up four times in a day. That never used to happen. There might be a three day period where I sell 20 belts. That never used to happen. Like none of my boutique things were ever wild sellers. Like I'd sell one a week, two or three a week, one a day for a little while when it's in season. Like they would just consistently trickle sell and I loved that. They were never wild sellers. I want to make you aware of the hottest, the best deal I have ever offered in my Rebecca the Reseller Academy. To find it, all you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will find this right here. Hot deal, best value, all courses and digital downloads for life. This is it friends, this is as good as it's going to get. I'm giving you everything I have in my academy, all the digital downloads, all the courses for just 
$5. The best part is if I create a new digital download going forward, you will get it absolutely free. This is the time to lock in the best deal I have ever offered. All you have to do is go to Rebecca the Reseller Academy, scroll down to Hot Deal, and purchase it for $20. If you're wondering what comes in this, it's everything. So you're going to get all of my courses, and you're also going to get all of the digital downloads that I've created, including my keywords list, my listing forms, my Poshmark closet signs, everything that I have created, and everything that I ever will create will be yours for literally 20 bucks. Now, I see like a rotation. So for a few days, it'll be my belts. Then it'll be my scarves. Then it'll be swimsuit cover-ups. Then some pre-owned items will sell. I think that Poshmark Promoted Closet cycles through your listings as they're promoting them. And so when you have multiple of something to sell, that ad is almost worth more because five people could buy that item. If it promotes your Zara pre-owned coat, only one person can buy it. But if it promotes your boutique you know, jewelry item, 10 people could buy it if you have 10. And so I see that happen because it will get promoted. Maybe you'll get a bunch of likes. I haven't correlated like when I get likes and stuff like that's too much for me to be tracking. I can't pay attention to that. But when it's on, when I think that an item is being promoted in the rotation, I don't know this to be true. This is just my like hypothesis. When an item's being promoted, a bunch of people like it and find out about it. Then I go and send my offers on these items which is pretty regularly, a couple times a week, and then boom, all of a sudden, a bunch will sell. And so I think that's how it's working. So if you're selling boutique or multiple quantity, you may be able to really benefit from promoted listings. I have seen it work really, really well on my boutique items. So I'm really excited about that. If you sell $50 plus items and can afford some spend, allowing it to eat into your profits, you may want to experiment more with it. If you've been hesitant in the past and haven't experimented with it, you know, if you're buying items for $5 and you're selling $50 plus items like generally my model is, you have wiggle room. And so you can afford to spend 10 or 20% to get more of your items sold. Again, it's not all of your profits, it's a portion of your profits. So you might make a little bit less money per item, but if it helps you sell 10 more items a month and that's an extra $10 profit, that's an extra $100 a month. If they're higher end items, it might be $200 extra a month. So you just have to kind of look at it and see how much are you spending? How much are your sales increasing? And are you okay with that? If I get my you know, sales up and I'm only spending another 10 or 20%, I am good with that. I want to sell items. I do not want them to sit in my storage unit. I want them to sell. So if they sell a little bit less than I had intended, I'm okay with that. Let's get the profit. Let's turn it into another item. So I think looking at it like that is important. Like, you know, it's not a discount, but it's a sales tool. And so you can offer discounts or you can use a sales tool that costs money. But either way, if it gets more items to sell and you're not losing money and you're making okay profit, this is a good thing. So if you aren't listing daily or consistently, this can be a sales machine for you. So that's what I put in my notes. So like I said earlier, over the summer where I did nothing, Promoted Closet was like my little sales rep out there in Poshmark selling my items. And then I have my system of offer to likers, my relisting system, my my shopper system, all these different things that I do. So those are working for me, but the boosting of the listings I think is an additional sales tool. And I think it's important. And I think when you're not listing consistently, it is like a little sales rep out there for you. I do think though, if you are listing consistently, you may not need it. Doesn't mean you can't have it. Maybe it will help you even more. But right now my hypothesis is that when you're not listing consistently or not a lot or not at all, turn it on. When you're listing consistently, take a break and turn it off and see what happens. And that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. If you want to test or give yourself a boost during passive times, which is basically what I said. So, you know, for me, I might turn it off for a little while and then turn it back on after a month and see what happens and then leave it on through the holidays when I'm going to take time off. And then I might turn it off in the spring and then I might turn it back on in the summer. That's kind of how my 
progression goes. I don't work a lot during the holidays and I don't work a lot over the summer. So if it can be on during those times and then off during the times that I am working consistently, that could be really good. So let's go ahead and dive in to the screen share. I have my lights on in here so it's a little bit hard to see everything with the glare so bear with me all right so my promoted closet stats so i sold two sales from yesterday 49 dollars in sales we'll go down to the thing in a second so what i want to do so right now i don't love what's happening <laughs> right now it has been slow over the summer my sales have been less this is just again the sale this is not my total sales this is just the sales from promoted listings so right now i'm spending more than i want to for the sales that i'm getting this spend amount is too high for the amount of sales that i have coming in through promoted listings so this is not what i like to see but if we so that's just recent that's the last 30 days but if we scroll out from the whole time you can see like when i started it back here this is when i started then i turned it off then i turned it on then i turned it off then i turned it back on again and so it keeps getting higher which i think is interesting in terms of impressions but let's look here. So spend 2,211 of 10,900. So I don't, again, want it to go much over 20%. That's kind of my max. It was for a while at 10%. So I did up the budget to 70. So I'm paying $70 a week and I'm still making tons of profit. I'm not losing any money. Like that amount of money is fine, but it's a little too high of a spend for the sales. So that's why I'm thinking as I start going into where I'm gonna list more, I might turn it off for a little bit and see how that plays out. But if it's like 10%, that's where it was for a while and that's good. Now I will tell you that I did go back and compare this period right here where I had it turned off and my sales were down from actually October through December. Then when I turned it up, it went higher this I'm talking about my closet insights for my sales and then these months right here March April May my sales were like through the roof so it had a really good period of time where my sales were high and it wasn't just because of promoted listings of course but it correlated so higher sales when the promoted listings were high low sales when I had a break from it so that tells me that it does work and it does help but I think it's, I'm spending a little bit, a little bit too much. I'd like for this spend to be more like 1500 for this amount of sales is what I'd like. All right, so let's look down here. So listings sold. So like you can see here, Zara. So this just sold yesterday. So these two Zara items just sold yesterday because of promoted listings. Okay, fine. That Zara, that Speedo, okay, fine. But then here, look, three brown belts on the 10th on the 11th and on the 16th, all three brown belts. So that's great for boutique. This belt is boutique. This washi tape set is boutique. So all of these things are my brand new multiple quantity kind of stuff and they've been doing great. Now, let me see, what does this? Oh, so this just keeps going and shows you more stuff. So yes, lots of items that I have multiple quantities of are selling. I didn't really, I didn't know that page was there. So I didn't click onto that before. So I haven't looked at that. Posture VA is a tax deductible business investment that pays for itself many times over each month. It increases Poshmark sales because it shares and sends offers more than I ever could manually. It handles all my shares automatic offer to likers, bulk offers, and it can do price drops and relists. When my coaching clients add Posture VA, it makes more sales basically immediately. The best part is that you get your time back, more time with family, thrifting, whatever. Get 20% off with code Rebecca the Reseller and the link below. So this is telling me the ones that are being promoted the most and getting clicks, but haha, -ha, so funny because this one still hasn't sold. This one still hasn't sold. So they're being promoted like crazy because people are looking for them. They're getting clicked on, but people aren't buying them. That's interesting to me. What if I drop the price on these items? What am I missing? Why aren't they buying it? 
So is it a price thing? Because it's getting a lot of activity. So that's interesting information. And then this is one of the, actually both of these are two of the swim cover-ups that sell all the time in rotation. This actually sold for a while in rotation too, and I sold a bunch of those. So, you know, again, my shop is different than your shop. I sell boutique, you may not sell boutique. But what, what you can take away from this is using these tools as tools for you and your business in your unique situation. I think that using the Poshmark Promoted Closet when you're not listing as much to boost your items so that you can have reliable sales is a really awesome thing. I think that having Promoted Closet to boost your multiple quantity items and let you sell multiple of them when it's in rotation is a really good thing. Do I think you need it when you're listing like crazy? Maybe not. And so that's what I'm gonna test out next. So over a year, I'm still using it, but I'm still evaluating it. And I think that that is the big takeaway from tools like this, is that you can't just set it and forget it. You can set and forget your posture VA. You can set and forget other things that you do, but you can't set and forget something like this, like paying for ads, because I'm paying 70 a week, that's $240 a month that I'm giving back to Poshmark, basically, to help me sell more items. So am I selling more items? Yes. Am I still making profit and all of that? Yes. But I could be making a lot more profit if I wasn't paying this amount of money, but would I be making those sales? So that's the part where I'm not like a marketing ads analyst. I don't really even know how to interpret a lot of this stuff. All I can say is that I want my spend to be about 10 to 15% of my sales that I'm getting from these things. Right now it's too high, so I need to save a little bit of money. I also think that as I list more, pulling back would be a good idea and let my listing production help be my sales machine. But when I'm ready over the holidays to back off on my listings, I'm gonna definitely make sure that promoted listings are on being my little sales machine. So those are the conclusions that I have. Take away from it what you will. I can't tell you, you should do promoted listings. It's gonna make you more money. I can't do that because everybody's unique closet is different with different things and you do different things to sell things. Like, it's so different. So while there are other strategies that I can say, yes, do this. Send progressive and aggressive offer to likers 100% of the time. That I can tell you with confidence. This one, I can share with you what's going on with me and what my thoughts are and what I'm kind of like, you know, squirreling around about, but I can't tell you for sure what to do. And if someone does, be careful, because I don't think they have your best interest at heart because they don't know your business. And so just be careful. I want you to test, I want you to try, but I don't want you to lose money. So do your best, mess around with it, see how it goes. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.